Hey, and welcome to m my mess. I'll be talking about this mess at a later point in this video, kind of explaining why it's here and stuff, but it's not really what this video is about because I will be going for a little camping trip, just an overnight stay in the local area here in beautiful Sweden. And I figured that would be the perfect opportunity to put this little guy right here to the test. The Insta360 Go 2. A lot of you will probably already be familiar with it, but for those who aren't, it's this absolutely tiny action camera that comes with the remote and a little tripod in the case itself. And you can even take it out like this. There we go. And this is the actual camera that you can just carry along with you. So I figured I would be putting this guy to the test by taking it with me on this camping trip, creating a little bit of a vlog and just seeing how capable it actually is of recording these kinds of adventure camping vlogs overall. So without further ado, I'm going to leave this mess behind me today, not think about it. I'm going to go get ready and uh, I'll see you outside. And just like that, we are out here in nature and recording on the Insta360 Go 2, of course. So I've got all the different accessories with me. I don't know if I'll use all of them. And if you want to know more about all the different accessories that come with this camera, be sure to check out my pretty in-depth uh, overview of all the accessories right up there. This is the first uh, kind of vlog video that I make, at least in a really long while. And I don't know how good it will be or how bad it will be, but I'm just gonna go and try my best, of course. And I think that's great about YouTube and all these different videos that I've been making. I've been trying so many different things and I'm just learning so much about how to make videos entertaining and how to make them, yeah, just interesting overall. So I hope this video is interesting in the end, or at least it will serve as a bit of a uh, quality test for this tiny camera. So when it comes to the accessories that I'm using for the Go, I will always let you know what I'm using. So in this case, I'm just using the Go in the charging case and just holding it out right in front of me like this to vlog with it, which works really well actually. So that's probably whenever I'm talking to you like this, that's how I'll be doing it. But for the rest, you will always be able to kind of tell by a little title or I'm telling you how I'm actually mounting the Go. So we just finished lunch, which is the only warm meal of the day today because there's actually a ban on having any sort of fire in the open nature right now because it's relatively dry, which is a bit annoying. It would have been amazing to tonight be able to just build a fire and grill sausages or something like that. But now I grilled the sausages at home and we had them for lunch now. So at least there was still the sausages there. Right now I'm carrying the Go on the Insta360 invisible selfie stick, which is not invisible when using it with the actual Go. But I just wanted to see how the microphone works if I actually stretch out my arm and uh, reach out a little bit more. And you might be familiar with this view right here. If you've been following the channel for some time and you watch the videos during winter, I was right here on this hill I went for a little bit of like a trail run in the snow and it was just beautiful it looks very different now I'm just enjoying my time out here we have to appreciate it as long as we are here and that brings me to another topic and the reason that uh, my apartment at the moment is such a mess and that is the fact that I'll be moving away from Sweden in about two weeks a little less actually so my chapter here is uh, ending. I'm going back to the Netherlands, uh, going back to the area where my parents live, just to see uh, if I can find a job kind of in that area or to be honest, anywhere around Europe to then uh, move to some new location. But that's it for Sweden for me. And that's also why I am out here. We are out here today to just really enjoy every last moment that we have in the beautiful Swedish nature.
about 13 kilometers in. We're just taking a little break on the football field here. As you can see, the water is right out there. And that's the lake that we're actually walking around today and tomorrow morning as well. So we're enjoying this right here, which in Dutch we call Arretjes cake, but I know Italians and some other countries refer to it as chocolate salami, which just a question, right? Would you rather be thinking about cake or about salami when eating something that looks like this and is sweet? Just, just something I'm leaving out there. Ladies and gentlemen, it looks like we found our camping place. Now I just have to build a tent. And just like that, you've got a really nice time lapse of you setting up your tent. Only at the cost of one upset ant colony who decided that the tree branch I was using to put the go on was part of their home. So they were actually attacking the camera itself but the time-lapse still came out really nicely, so I'm very happy about that. Overall, it's 5 to 6 in the evening right now. We're just gonna go and uh, eat a sandwich, because that's what we can eat. As already said, we can't barbecue or anything like that. And then, luckily, my girlfriend has a lot of data left on her mobile phone plan, so we can watch both the European Cup games tonight. Because you can go camping, but you can't miss the Euros, of course. It's still crazy bright outside for 11 p.m. But I guess in Sweden it makes sense because it was midsummer, what, two days ago or something like that? If I can give you one tip, when you go out in Sweden or I guess anywhere in summer, be sure you have mosquito repellent because we don't. And uh, I'm just hoping I'm immune to mosquitoes by now <laughs> because otherwise <laughs> I will suffer a lot more tomorrow even. Let's focus on the camera real quick. You saw the little time-lapse that I recorded. I found out that whenever you want to record time-lapses, be sure to keep the Go in the case. Because what happened for me is the Go was, I believe, fully charged. I put it out there in the pivot stand and not in the case. And the Go just died after, I think, about an hour of recording the time-lapse. So if you want to record long time-lapses, I wanted to record like two hours or something, then be sure to keep the Go in the case itself. You did see the fastest slug on earth though. I thought it was really funny. And I hope this also serves as a bit of a low light test that we have right here. So uh, just the inside of the tent with the low light from the outside and not much more than that. But we're gonna brush our teeth, go to sleep, and then I'll see you tomorrow, right? Today we won't be walking as much as yesterday. I think yesterday was about 15k. I think today will be like 10k maximum. But it's also okay because we didn't get the best night of sleep. I think it was okay. Like we didn't have mosquitoes in the tent, which is a big advantage because there's a lot around here. We're back in the forest now and I can assure you the mosquitoes are just as hungry as they were yesterday and as they were tonight but uh, at least the tent was well isolated but of course you will never sleep as well in a tent as you will in your own bed at home and at the same time the sunlight out for that long and especially the sunrise super early again i think at like 2 a.m or something makes it so that uh, you won't get a great night of sleep so i'll be showing you a couple more shots because it is a bit sunnier today as it was yesterday so you can also get an impression of what those shots look like and then I'll probably see you for one more update 
towards the end of our walk where I'll kind of give an overview of my experience of using the Go to capture this great camping trip. like that we are back right here in the mess that is my apartment. In the end today was only seven kilometers but at the same time I'm happy to be home and to be home this early it's not even 10 a.m. yet but overall the mosquitoes today especially in the last part were crazy and my legs are just all bumps so I'm so happy to actually be home and to just be able to relax and be free of mosquitoes. When it comes to the vlog overall, I'm very happy to have had this experience and be able to kind of experiment with making vlogs. And when it comes to the camera, this was actually a great experience to test out all the different features of this camera. I used to go in standalone mode, I used it together with the case, and I even used it connected to the phone to be able to preview the video. So overall, I feel like I learned a lot about using the Go in all these different scenarios. So I'm really happy with that. I didn't run into any big problems to be honest, like I still have memory left on the camera and I've saved all the videos on the camera up to this point, so I didn't have any issues there. The only kind of issue I ran into was the battery life of both the camera and the case itself. So the camera of course when I was doing the time lapse yesterday, uh, the camera itself ran out of battery. Keeping it in the case should have prevented that, but I didn't do that. <laughs> And then the case itself, just after that, like yesterday evening, the case itself died as well. But in the end, just bring a battery bank and you'll be able to charge the case and then charge the camera. And there's no issues whatsoever anymore. So that's my experience of using the Insta360 GO 2 on this camping trip with me. Let me know what you think of all the different shots that I took because I'm really, really, really curious what you think. And Overall, I think this camera is great for these kinds of experiences and just capturing some of the really nice moments in life without having to carry a big camera with you overall. But that's really everything. If you have any more questions, let me know in the comments down below. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to leave a like. Stick around for more videos on the Insta360 GO, but also running, technology, or ideally a combination of the two. Thank you so much for your support and I hope to see you again in the next one.